I want to have a I want to have a quick debate. Mm. And I'm going to get lit up in the comments because I'm going to come across as a Toronto homer, which on this one I I okay. think, I like the jerseys. I think I'm a I think I'm a homer. Oh, that's I know right. I'm a homer, but I also want to say objectively I think this is true. Oh boy. I think in the NHL right now, Austin Matthews is the best player. Okay. I think this week I think it, especially in the last couple of weeks. In this very specific, very specific moment at in time. this moment, he's the best player. Now, does that mean he's the most skilled player? I'm not saying that. I think Connor McDavid has the most skill in the NHL. But I think if you look at, and the advanced stats are going to back me up on this one, so you can bitch and whine and complain. <laughs> but Connor McDavid scores most of his goals how? Off the rush. Have you seen him score a goal from the hash marks sniping it? Yes. Uh, yeah, but not as often. Not as often, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He relies I, I on you mean. he yeah. relies on the rush all the time. It works for him because he's devastatingly fast. By far, well, it, the fastest player with the puck in the NHL and the nastiest hands. Insane hands in the NHL. So I don't want. So every time we, you know you have a ta- conversation like this, um, people lose their minds because they think you're insulting the other player. The reality is Connor McDavid, to me, is the most skilled player in the NHL. However, I don't think his game is as rounded as, as Matthews. Matthews plays better defense. He's better in the corners. He's better takeaways in the neutral zone. And he can score like six different ways. We saw it on the breakaway, which we never see Austin Matthews get a breakaway, ever. Never. Um, he has two or three different wrist shots that are absolutely insane. Sneaky, scary, stuff that goalies stop all the time that they cannot touch for some reason. And I think for right now, for my money... Austin Matthews is the best player in the NHL. I think it's Austin. I think it's Connor. And I think you put, you know, it's a dead heat between Nathan McKinnon and Leon Dreisaitl after that. Yeah, Dry had a big night. And I think, by the way, if this keeps up, if this, if this month that we've seen or these, this few weeks that we've seen, if we were to repeat it and repeat it and repeat it in 18 months, you'd have a lot more people on board. Because Connor McDavid has been the best player in the NHL for like three years, four years, mm-hmm. since he took the mantle from Sydney. But I'm saying if this keeps up, and if Matthews continues to diversify his game, I think Austin Matthews has a clear shot in a year or two where having most people go, you know what, maybe he is the best player in the game. And let me say it one more thing. Goals matter more than assists. I don't know how many times I need to say this. Goals matter more. Whoever scores the most goals, to me, is the better player. So, Dreisaitl has the most <laughs> goals in the entire league. Yeah. Is Dreisaitl the best oil? No, because I don't think he is. Oh, come on. So you think Dreisaitl is the best Adam, off, off the top of your head, who has the most goals in the league? Dreisaitl? Who has the most points in the league? I don't know. Leon Dreisaitl. Okay. I don't, I think I don't think he's the best player in the league. I, th- I just I think, don't. I think right now, because the case you're making is that right now, Austin Matthews is the best player in the league. He's based the best player. On, based on how he's playing. Well, there's a guy playing better than him. It's, I don't know. It's that, so I, no, no, interesting. No, no, that's not true. That's not true. You're saying he's, he's scoring more. That is different than playing better. No, like Leon Dreisaitl, you're underrating his defensive prowess right now. I think he's okay. He's, he's a, he's he's a better, well-rounded player. No, he yeah. looks, but he looks better than Connor McDavid, who's atrocious yeah. on defense. It's it's such an interesting conversation because you can't have a conversation about who is the best player in the league without having who is the best Oiler. Yes, <laughs> and and there's at times there are debate, and I think I think what's frustrating with McDavid is there shouldn't be. There's I think there's who's the most skilled player. And McDavid. Who, and McDavid. And who can do the most things? Matthews. I think Matthews can do more things. And I think Drysdale can maybe do more things. Well, and I'll say this, and I'm not trying to insult Drysdale, by the way. Things. Does that make people sense? People are going to get mad. I'm not trying to insult Leon Drysdale, anyone. Jesus. But, but I think that... That is another name for him. Yes. Uh, <laughs> when, when it comes to what Matthews can do... Everything for the face-off, his defensive prowess, and the leadership that he shows. And everybody's saying now that Leon Dreisaitl is the de facto captain of the Oilers, which we have glossed over for a few weeks now, but there are writers out there saying it now. Yeah, that's one of those ones where I'm like, okay, I'm going to have to take your word for that. Yeah, because how would I know? Yeah, they're yeah. a little bit more plugged into the But I, I, think, I think when you're talking about best player in the league, to me, it's Austin Matthews. And I think if you have, I, I understand, you know, people are going to come back at me with McDavid. They're going to come back at me with Drysdale. He has scored more goals. He has scored more points. But who else is going to score on the Oilers? The Leafs actually have other players that are going to score. Mm. Like it's like how like, like even comes down to like look at the goals per game in the last three seasons. Austin Matthews is something like 0.8 or 0.9 percent ahead of Alexander Ovechkin in goals per game. Isn't that goofy? It's an insane stat. Where, where are you at with um, Nathan McKinnon in this conversation? I think he's I I think 
He's fourth. Oh man, there's a oh, real interesting top. Five. Is is the discussion about right now or the last couple seasons? Which one I think right now, right now. Okay, okay. So yeah. then we got to take out the goals per game last okay. couple seasons well, out of the oh, equation. So this is this is <laughs> okay. Fair. This fair. is where it's important because if uh, we're if we have this exact conversation in October, we would laugh at ourselves. We would fist fight ourselves if we could time. Yeah, it'd be like stupid. Yeah, it's the conversation is McDavid and Drysital and no one else. Shut up. But maybe McKinnon, maybe McKinnon. I feel like no, the Avalanche struggled out of the gate. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, like, that's right. No, yeah, yeah. David Drysital. <laughs> that f- that's it. Sorry, it feels like fourteen years ago. I know, but from what I vaguely remember, they were scoring at a hundred and eighty goal. Sorry, that was hundred eighty point pace. Crazy for long enough that we were like, is this it just how things are? Mm-hmm. Then, mm-hmm. um, but for my money, over the last where are we at month? Sure. 45 days. There's a, like a two-week break for some teams in the last couple of weeks. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Florida Panthers. Yeah. Yeah. The, two the weeks. The Kings haven't played Kings. in a year. Uh, Sharks. <laughs> over, That's right. The Kings have not played in February. <laughs> over the last stretch, I'm not sure there's been a player better than Austin Matthews. I don't think so either. I don't think so either. I'm taking the guy who's beating him in all the stats categories. Yeah, Leon Dreisaitl. Leon Dreisaitl. So, I don't know. So is the McDavid I don't know. That seems three? like a pretty stupid take. I'm kidding. Probably. <laughs> right? It, wow. Like, what are... It's such a... It's a complicated debate, you know? Well, and remember, though, Dreisaitl built up a nice little um, mm-hmm. cushion. cushion mm-hmm. Right? So is he riding that a little yeah, bit? Also, two goals. In this, la- in this debate. There's a two Matthews goal- tied uh, Leon Dreisaitl while playing. He tied the league yeah. lead in gold. And then, Leon Dreisaitl uh, at... Like yeah. seven thirty uh, Pacific time goes in there and scores two more goals to take the lead back. Leon's played four more games. That does matter. Sure. Over the course of the season, that does matter. Sure. Over the course of the season, but I feel like we're just talking about the past right part. now. Yeah. yeah. I, and if we are, I think Matthews is the best player in the league. And let me throw out there an, another wild one that people are going to get fucking crazy about: Patrick Line. Man, ten uh, goals in seven games. Seven. Yeah, Patrick Line is one of the top five players in the league right now. Yeah, right he, now he's he's a difficult one to quantify because he's so streaky. Yes, but he can do this. Like he's well, he's ridiculous. He's insane. Remember, he had like a bad thirty-five goal season. <laughs> yeah, Winnipeg's <laughs> like, boy, what a disappointment. <laughs> but he was like, he legitimately was because I think he scored. Wasn't it? He scored most of it in the first thirty games or something like that, and then scored five goals the rest of the way or something. He has the ability to be Goku Super Saiyan three. And also be Krillin. If we are, <laughs> if we are having the debate, if you're just throwing out people who are the hottest as the best player in the league right now, my vote over everybody that we've named Here over we Drysido, McDavid, Line, whatever you want to say, the best player in the league right now is Jakob Markstrom. Oh, how dare you say anybody else? But besides he's, the guy, he's disgusting. He, his win streak right now is one, two, three, four. Five, six wins in a row for him individually. Let me give you the save percentages over those wins. It is 929, 905, 958, 1000. That's a shutout. 929, <laughs> 870. But mm-hmm. uh, three goals. Doesn't matter. 1000. That's a shutout. And there you go. There's well, his winning streak. We, that's, that's the best player in the league. We do need to put some respect on his name. We do. But I think Rangers fans are going to be mad that you didn't say Shusterkin. Nah, Mark, the team's been winning uh, more than uh, the Rangers, so you mm. got to give the nod to Calgary. 